Minister, could I just ask you, what exactly did the last forum achieve? Well, first of all, we established a global Irish network. Uh, this was a network of 300 very influential uh, people of, uh, with Irish connections uh, based abroad in different capitals. All of these people uh, very prominent in business, uh, culture, world and exports. Uh, and that network has been working with government and with the state agencies uh, to encourage increased investment in Ireland, the creation of jobs here uh, and the expansion uh, of our exports. There have been a number of specific uh, developments, also the appointment of a cultural ambassador, uh, the initiatives that were taken in the tourism area, the establishment of uh, an innovation centre in Silicon uh, Valley, uh, Farm Leaf Scholarship Scheme in uh, Singapore, a number of initiatives like that which grew out of the last uh, forum. And we're hopeful that this forum will also produce a number of specific initiatives which will be followed up. In terms of job creation, uh, what tangible benefits have we seen on the ground? Well, I think investment decisions uh, are, in, are influenced by a number of things. And one of the ways in which investment decisions is to have access uh, to those who make the key decisions. Uh, the establishment of the Global Irish Network has given uh, the Irish government and our job creation agencies uh, unique access uh, to many boardrooms that wouldn't otherwise be available to them. Indeed, I think it's interesting that we are now beginning to see other countries uh, following the example that Ireland set in establishing formal structures uh, for the organisation of its diaspora, particularly those who are involved in business and commerce. And in terms of this forum this weekend, what would you like to see come from us? What concrete measures would you like to see happening? Well, what we're looking for are two or three specific recommendations to come from uh, each of the 15 working groups that will work through the two-day uh, weekend. Um, the, the idea basically is that across sectors, the food sector, the tourism sector, uh, the energy sector, all of the various uh, economic sectors, that we would get a couple of specific recommendations and then we will have an implementation group after the conference is finished that will be follow up on all of those recommendations and of course we will continue to grow the network. There are 70 million people throughout the world who claim uh, that they have some form of uh, Irish ancestry or Irish heritage. What we are doing here this weekend is we are assembling 300 of the most powerful of those who work in business and in commerce. These are people who are coming here uh, voluntarily uh, at their own cost uh, to help Ireland, to provide us with their advice and to make themselves available to help us into the future. Finally, has it actually created jobs? Oh yes, absolutely. If you look at the number of jobs that have uh, uh, been placed in Ireland, the number of investment decisions, and happily we've had a number of very significant investment decisions in Ireland over the last uh, couple of years, I have no doubt uh, that the influence of the people who attended the last Global uh, Irish Economic Forum in Farm Lee two years ago, that that contributed in a very major way uh, to securing those investment decisions. And the assembly here this weekend of 300 uh, very powerful people in world business will assist Ireland into the future in getting the investment decisions that we need to ensure that jobs are created and sustained here.